watching Perfect Fitness TV. So I've got a really amazing inner thigh workout. So many of you have been asking for inner thigh workouts. How do I get that lady gap and tone up my inner thighs and I don't want jiggling inner thighs. So here's a really, really great inner thigh workout without machines, without using cables and um, something you can do at home. So what the one thing I do recommend getting is a, a small like six inch Pilates ball. Uh, it's a small medicine ball. You can buy these online. They're like just probably $10 or something like that. So um, I might want to invest in one of these. I'm going to use this today for my workout. So anyway, um, I will go through the whole workout with you. The first movement is a um, thing of ballet. So it's going to be a grand, second grand plie to a curtsy, okay? If you are very sporty, then it'll be a sumo squat. So you're here. And you're going to plie down and then cross behind into a curtsy. So it's down in curtsy. We're going to keep going to the same side for eight reps before we change to the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and change to the other side. Second, and step in and curtsy. Two. Make sure you make these really big movements. Sit right down. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Good, now you're gonna grab the ball and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this wall here because I'm gonna basically sit into an invisible chair. So I'm gonna take my feet out just a little bit, slide my hips down so they're in line with my knees. I'm gonna place the ball right in between. You can either keep your heels down and hold for eight counts or you can lift your heels. You're gonna hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now you're gonna squeeze the ball. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your heels down if you took the challenging option and then you're gonna come back up to standing and you're gonna come back over to your mat. You're gonna lie down on the mat, place the ball right between the inner thighs again. Similar move, but in a shoulder bridge, okay? So you're going to be here. Lift your hips up and squeeze the ball 16 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. Good, lower your hips down, release the ball, and you're gonna roll onto your side, cross your top leg over, and you're just going to lift your bottom leg up. You can either be on your elbow here, or you can roll all the way down, more comfortable. Lift that bottom leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can always um, add a little ankle weight here to intensify the move. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. The lower it down and then change over to the other side. Now, if you really um, can't find one of these balls, you can still kind of do most of the other moves as well, just without it. And you can still do the shoulder bridge and just tap your knees together. You can still do that chair as well. Just keep your feet together, keep your legs together, and just Really glue those inner thighs together. Squeeze those inner thighs together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Good. Lower it down. And you're gonna do the whole thing two more times. Okay. So do this. Do these five exercises three times through to really tone up your inner thighs, okay? You'll feel them, you'll feel them just feeling a lot less jiggly. It's really, really nice. <laughs> so um, I hope you've enjoyed this workout. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more workouts with me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and like us on Facebook for lots of more healthy, fun tips. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Kristen, you're watching Perfect Fitness TV.